Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a long awaited painting video. I haven't done one for quite a while, so if you do like them, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, drop us a comment down below. I do love hearing back from you guys, and it goes a massive, massive way to helping out the channel too. Now, with this painting video, we're going back into the mortal realms, and I'm going to start off with one of the orcs from Stormbringer magazine. So this is the killer boss. I really like the killer boss. He's a pretty cool mini, and he comes with his little stab grot as well, who is equally as fun. Uh, and you can paint them up in exactly the same way. So the same techniques get applied to both, really. You can choose whatever colour palette you want, entirely up to you, but really, really good stuff. With all that said, let's crack on with it. So, first off, I've base coated with Mechanica Standard Grey. I personally find that this is one of the better colours to go for to kind of get going with, as it helps me see all the details working in kind of sometimes not the best light conditions. And as you can see, what I'm doing is going over with Auric Flesh over all the patches of skin that are visible on the killer boss. And he's uh, he's got quite a few. This also works for all the other gut rippers as well, so, you know, same techniques apply. With, when all that was painted, I layer over with a shade of Beal Tan Green. Because it's green, it works very, very nicely. It sits in all them little recesses, gets all that kind of darkness to it as well. However, it can dry a bit glossy, so it's uh, always worth kind of making sure you don't layer over too heavily because it'll look a bit naff. But otherwise, very, very good, and it works wonders with a green shade on there. And then I layer back over with Auric Flesh again, getting certain little edge highlights as well later on. You can use things like Scarsnick Green, or if you want Nurgling Green, will do exactly the same. Uh, and give you a slight little bit of a highlight but it is entirely up to you with that shade applied you don't generally need the edge highlight on all of the skin areas because he works just as well as he does as you can see here now i'm going over all these scraps of kind of like leather and bits and pieces that are hanging off him and i'm using fondia brown it's a nice dark brown. You can use a Katachan flesh from the magazine if you want to with it. Uh, entirely up to you. The angle of my cameras here is absolutely terrible, so you don't get to see a lot of it. But this works very, very well. It's a nice dark brown, and it works very, very nicely. It's got that kind of weird, muddy kind of colour to it. And then I wanted to go over with all these different areas of metal that are on show, and I'm using Lead Belcher. Now, I was tempted to use Iron Warriors, which is also very, very good, and it's an already dark metal colour. However, I think Lead Belch just lends to it a little bit better, in my personal opinion, and you do get the colour with the magazine, which is even better. So definitely worth a shot on that one. And then, moving on, you've got all these little tassels and straps and bits of kind of things that are holding everything, all the armour together. And for this, I used Rakkar Flesh. It works very well, it's kind of like a beigey brown colour. You can use, if you wanted to, other colours for it, so you can get all these different tan colours and beigey browns, and you could use Wraith Bone if you really, really wanted to, or you could just use any other kind of brown colour, like Bane Blade Brown or something like that, and it'll do just as good. And then, while all that was drying, I moved on to the shield. Now, moving on to the shield, as long as side of these colours works pretty decently, and there's a bit of an explanation why in a bit. Now, for the shield, I wanted to go for that current kind of look that all the others have gone for, which is I'm using corn red. Now, corn red is a dark red colour. It works very, very nicely. When you layer over with certain shades, it looks very, very nice. So it's definitely worth a shot. With that, I also did the uh, kind of shoulder pad and a few other bits and pieces, and then layering over that shield, all the metal areas, the Fondia Brown and the Rat Car Flesh with Norn Oil. Norn Oil tends to dry less glossy than some of the other shades and this works very, very well. Now, getting that dark metallic colour does require a couple of layers, so over the metals I did go over it a couple of times, but the shield just for once and that was it, job done. 
And then I had actually forgotten about the uh, the haft of his uh, kind of axe. So uh, I went back over this with Mournfang Brown because I need it to be different from the leather and stuff like that. And I want it to look like it's a piece of tree that he's basically, you know, been broken off to use. So a bit of Mournfang Brown, layer of Norn Oil over the top of it. Looks absolutely fine in my opinion and does the job that you need it to do. And then it's time to go back over the shoulder pad and the shield. Now I did these the same colour so they fit in very very nicely with each other. And I just go over all the raised edges with corn red once again. And that brings it back to that kind of red colour. Keeps all the darker recesses and works as a very very nice base. I did this with all the shields for the gut rippers as well and it works quite nicely in my opinion. And then you've got all these little tassels that are tied off on the bottom of the shields and a few other bits and places and stuff like that. And I want them all to be fairly uniform between most of my gut rippers, killer bosses, hobgrots and such like. So I used Avalan Sunset as a base coat and I thought, you know, a nice yellow will do very, very well for them. And it gives it a nice little bit of colour that uh, goes against the red quite nicely. And, you know, the shields have eyes, so you know, you need to paint the shields up as well. So I also use the Avalanche Sunset on the eyes as well. And then going over all the edges, doing an edge highlight with Uriel Yellow. And uh, it looks quite nice. I think it doesn't look too bad. However, the camera angle sucks for this, uh, which is my own fault for not just double checking everything as I was going. Um, but yeah, take my word for it. It does look pretty decent, as you can kind of see here. And then it was time to go over those teeth on the shield. You can leave them one colour if you want to. I personally didn't want to, so I went over with good old uh, Rakar Flesh on here as well because it just makes him stand out, having that nice pale colour. And then later on, I go back over it with Wraith Bone as well just to bring it a bit more colour to it as well. You can do this with Corax White if you wanted to. However... I don't think it works quite as well. Um, I think the Wraith Bone looks far, far better. Also using Wraith Bone on the teeth of the Killer Boss uh, and any Oryx that you can see. You can use it on fingernails, you can use it on the toenails or any other bits and pieces, any claws, mandibles or anything like that. It works very, very nicely. Um, you just don't have to go all the way to the edge and the bottom edges. You can leave them so they're a slightly darker colour and it works absolutely fantastically. It gives it a nice gradient as well. Now, the other thing I will mention with this is I do use a little tiny bit of edge highlighting of Mephiston Red just on the shield and the shoulder pad of the Killer Boss and the shields of the Gut Rippers. Brings it out quite nicely. Um, I personally really, really enjoyed this paint job. I think it works very, very well. It's fairly basic. It is a standard orc, really. Um, yeah, there's not really much more to it. There's, you know, orcs are generally one colour. They're green-skinned beasts you can just do all their outfit however you want so for instance if you don't want to use red shields yellow shields have seen i've seen and they've been really really nice looking i've seen people doing with black and gray shields they look pretty decent um i've even seen people do blue shields and they look really good as well personally i wanted that red color it's very standardized in all honesty um and very much kind of like how the magazine will teach you how to paint it eventually um but it does the job you know honestly it's a nice way of doing it and it's different from how the magazine does it the magazine teaches you to paint everything in green first and then go over with your layers you don't have to do that if you already use a base coat color like mechanica standard gray or even if you wanted to a bad and black you can do the same kind of tricks now entirely up to you but otherwise, that's it for this one. There will be more painting videos coming up soon. I just need to edit a couple of them and then finish off some of the models. Uh, but otherwise, thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate your feedback if you want to leave it down below. And I will see you sometime soon. Bye-bye now.